गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी माय नेम इज डॉक्टर रुपेश आई एम द असोसिएट प्रोफेसर फिजियोलॉजी हेलो एवरीबडी नाउ वी आर मूविंग फॉर द लास्ट पार्ट इन द क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ कार्डियोवैस्कुलर सिस्टम दैट इज द ऑस्कल्टेशन नाउ इन ऑस्कल्टेशन वी आर गोइंग टू ऑस्कल्टेट फॉर द वेरियस हार्ट साउंड्स देयर आर मेनली फोर हार्ट साउंड्स फर्स्ट हार्ट साउंड सेकेंड हार्ट साउंड थर्ड हार्ट साउंड एंड फोर्थ हार्ट साउंड अमॉन्ग दिस फोर हार्ट साउंड only two heart sound that is first heart sound and second heart sound they are audible with the stethoscope remaining third and fourth heart sound they are not audible with stethoscope rather they are audible with phonocardiogram so in this examination we are using stethoscope for the auscultation of only first and second heart sound so before discussing the heart sound we should know in which area we are going to auscultate for various heart sound areas they are divided mainly into the four areas of auscultation first area it is the mitral area which coincides with the apex bit second area it is a tricuspid area third area it is the aortic area and the fourth area it is the pulmonary area now as in a previous discussion we have already find out where is the exact loc what is the exact location of the apex bit so you can place directly stethoscope over that area in regard to the examination of heart sound over the mitral area so here in our case we have find out the position of apex bit in the left fifth intercostal space over the mid clavicular line so this was the area where we have got the apex bit so using the stethoscope we are placing the stethoscope directly over the mitral area to listen for the heart sound make sure that the stethoscope it is on place the diaphragm directly over the apex bit and listen to the sound now this is how the mitral area is auscultated now what about the tricuspid area the tricuspid area it is located in the left fourth intercostal space near the left border of the sternum as we know how to find out the intercostal space i am repeating it again jugular notch roll your finger downwards till you will get the first bony prominence sternal angle on the left side you will get the left second rib below the left second rib it is the left second intercostal space then like that third rib third intercostal space fourth rib fourth intercostal space so this is the left border of the sternum so here it is exactly the left fourth intercostal space begin from this point so this point it marks the area for the tricuspid uh, area auscultation so we will put the stethoscope in this area and again listen to the sound now coming to the auscultation in the pulmonary area pulmonary area it is located again on the left side 2 cm away from the left border of sternum so as we know sternal angle second rib second intercostal space approximately 2 cm will be like this approximate finding or you can use the ruler you can place the ruler and find out 2 cm over here so this will be the pulmonary area put your stethoscope directly over this area listen to the heart sound now coming to the aortic area now where is to find aortic area aortic area it is on the right side right second intercostal space near the right border of sternum so again the sternal angle right second rib and just below the right second rib is the right second intercostal space and this will be the right border of sternum so here is the aortic area so we are placing the stethoscope directly over this area to listen for the heart sound now whenever you are listening for any heart sound you will get both heart sounds in all these four area it means you will get first heart sound and second heart sound in mitral tricuspid pulmonary as well as aortic areas 
but the intensity of first heart sound it is louder in mitral area and the tricuspid area while the intensity of second heart sound it is louder in pulmonary and the aortic area now the question arises which is the first heart sound and which is the second heart sound the first and second heart sound can be discriminated very easily and nicely by using the carotid artery pulsation whenever you are listening to the any heart sound at the same time you have to feel for the carotid pulsation in the neck so like this whenever you are listening for the heart sound for example i am listening to the over the mitral area i will place the stethoscope over the apex bit and i will just insert my finger or just inside the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid check it out this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle so this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle so i will just insert my fingers from the anterior border inside of the sternocleidomastoid now you will get the pulsation over the pulp of your finger so the heart sound which coincide with the pulsation it is the first heart sound and the heart sound which does not coincide with the pulsation it is the second heart sound so that's how you can discriminate between the first heart sound and second heart sound you have to repeat this procedure whenever you are auscultating any of the area is it clear now regarding the first and second heart sound now how this first heart sound it is to be uh, discriminated from the second heart sound apart from the pulsation of the carotid it is by their characteristics features so what are the characteristic features of the first heart sound first heart sound it is louder first heart sound it is lengthier or it is a wide it is having wide duration and it is having a low amplitude for the second heart sound it is exactly opposite it is short short duration it is sharp and it is having the high amplitude so as again i am repeating first heart sound can be better heard in mitral and tricuspid and the second heart sound it is better heard in pulmonary and aortic thank you